Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. Let me introduce you to someone who has spent a lot of resources on this game and acquired himself a special gold tank. A Type 59 gold. All the rage about a couple of years ago. Oizi Kaisawa. Oizi Kaisawa. I have gold, uh... Chinese tank. Oh, oh, wait, we video not ready yet. We make mini, we make mini map, maxi map. <laughs> All right, we go now. We shoot you. No, you are teammate. We do not shoot you. We shoot blimp. We shoot blimp up our net. No, we do not shoot that. How you guys doing? Type fifty. How much did these cost, guys? How much did these cost? <laughs> Judge TJ. From the 5120 clan. Shout out to you guys. He's playing this type. <laughs> you know guys now I. I have my. I sleep at night. And as I'm sleeping. The dogs jump on the bed. And they like. This morning. I kind of woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning. And Willow was on my head. She's like this. And she's on my head. And I was having a dream. I was having a dream that I was like uh, in a uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show. And I was in a room. And I was on one of those tables, you know, where they stretch you. The, those old like uh, torture tables where they stretch you. And they had my head strapped on it. And they were tightening the strap on my head. And I was like, ah, they're going to stretch me. And, and I woke up and the freaking dogs on my head. How does the brain work like that? You're, you're sensing something while you're sleeping and your subconscious dream mind puts together some contorted version of that sensation into pictures and a story in your mind that eventually wakes you up. Or maybe it's the, the dog on your head that wakes you up. That's a, that's a, that could be a topic of research, right? Did I wake up because in the dream I was having my head squeezed and I was gonna get tortured and I was like scared like, ah, and I, I woke up? Did I wake up because of the dream or did I wake up because the dog was on my head? The dog on my head caused the dream. Then did the dream cause me to wake up? Let's see. Think about that. Is that cause and effect? Dog sits on your head. You have weird dream. Weird dream makes you wake up. That would be cool. But you know what it probably is? Dog sits on your head. You have weird dream. Uh, dog sits on your head even more. And then you wake up because there's a dog on your head. <laughs> so the dog caused the dream and me to wake up. I don't know. It's a, I'm sure there's a scientist somewhere working on it. But that's not what we're uh, uh, talking about in this video. We're talking about, um, what's the point of this video? Like how dumb do you have to be to spend a hundred bucks to get yourself a Type 59 in a gold color? That's <laughs> uh, how much do these tanks cost, guys? Or could, could you get them for gold? I forgot, I think, I think they were auctioned off and <coughs> you were able to get them for in-game resources. Uh, I don't know, but they, they were expensive either way, you know, whether you're talking about uh, whether you're talking about the show me the money or the resources uh, it was a lot of them uh, not as much as that latest one what's, oh, I think that hit what's the latest one that uh, we spent uh, uh, 150 million the tier 10 premium right, what, what was that one the, the one that you were able to make it, your pay and Partly currency, partly free XP, partly uh, blueprints. Part. What was that one? And you got a tier ten something or other, and it wasn't very. Yeah, the the objects uh, something something something. The object whatever the fuck. You know that was. Was it almost sniper tank? And a lot of people. And and then you got a number on your barrel to let everyone know how quickly you gave wargaming all your all your resources. <laughs> It's amazing how we uh, we we um, 
are ready to just grab the new and improved and the the new uh, the new shiny object, right? There's a new shiny object. We all want it. It's it's funny. I guess that's how war war gaming uh, ensures that they remain profitable. They just keep putting new shiny objects in front of us. This is an old shiny object, and uh, he's. Um, what is the big deal with the Type 59? You know, the Type 59 used to be this legendary... Well, no, it wasn't legendary. It's le legendary later. It, it used to be this really good tank. Think about that, guys. Back in the day, and I'm talking about years ago, like uh, when Type 59 first came out, this tank, not the, it wasn't gold then. It was just the same tank, but it wasn't gold. The tank was so good so good that um, everyone wanted it and a lot of people got it and they played it exclusively so that uh, 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 tier 8 games uh, you'd launch a game back in the day and there'd be uh, 11 type 59s per side and they would just shit over they were so good compared to everything else that they just shit over everyone and they don't have very good armor, they don't have very good mobility, they don't have high alpha, they don't have that good a gun, uh, they don't have a strong turret, they don't have gun depression, they don't have fantastic view range, they don't have fantastic... It's just an... In today, in the game today, uh, it's actually one of the more mediocre <laughs> tier 8 premiums, right? So, uh, it's mediocre, shall we buff it? Yuri, shall we buff it? It's mediocre now. Uh, we're not selling anymore. No, no, no. We have new version. We call it a deluxe gold version. So they just changed the color. Isn't that... That's marketing brilliance, right? Because they probably thought about this. They probably had a meeting and they said, um, you know, Type 59 was legendary or it was amazing. It became legendary. Everyone, we stopped sales of it because there was too many people wanting it. It was breaking the game. And it has a reputation of being a game-breaking legendary tank. That's very rare, but it's uncompetitive now. We can't really sell it. We can't make a video talking about how great and legendary it is because it actually sucks. It would almost be false advertising if we did that, and we might not sell that many of them. So what do we do? Uh, should we just sell it as it is and say it's, uh, it's a balanced tank now? No, I got a better idea. Why don't we uh, repackage it? And uh, <laughs> we'll paint it gold. <laughs> And we'll we'll put the price up by twenty times, and we'll and we'll see who's stupid enough to buy it. <laughs> and they sell they sold a gazillion of them. <laughs> That's marketing genius, right? It's true, guys. You know I, I, what I did once. Um, I know I'm getting off track. Off the ass for you, boom. I did this once. I was trying to sell some used tires. That's a little bit of advice for you, real, real life advice. I had a car and I switched uh, tires. And uh, for some reason, I guess the front ones wore out faster than the back. Anyway, I switched all four and I had two uh, tires that were, the front ones were trash and I think the rear ones were, oh, I, I can't remember the details, but I had two tires, kind of half worn out tires. And they were for a Subaru WRX STI. It's almost a racing car. They were like hard sidewalls, run flat, low profile racing tires. Oh, wait, we gotta watch this. We gotta watch this. Oh, no, don't sit in front of him. Go, go. He's looking at your gold. <laughs> okay, good. Track him. Track him. Tra no, don't just auto aim. Track him. Track him. Track him. Can he track him? He's auto aiming. Oh, this is what I do. It, it's painful. You have to track him. Track him. You can easily kill him if you track him. Track him. <laughs> He's not going to track him. He's waiting for his T30, buddy. No, don't go in front of his gun. Okay. You, okay. Oh, oh, no, no, no. I, he's precariously. Okay. Oh, boy. We got to watch this. T30. Don't die, T30. What is the T30 doing? Don't die. The T30 is moving. Just T30, just let him do it. Shoot! I, I can't believe what I'm witnessing. Is the T30 willing to die? One more. Oh! Brilliantly done! 
Ay caramba! So just a regular game in his gold type 59. He ends up with 3,638 damage. Way to go, buddy. Just a regular schmo with a gold tank having a good game. You know, you don't need a gold tank for your tank to perform well. Here's a Type 59 ungolded. And it is M21 Sniper from the Radom Clan. Shout out to you guys. Playing on Lakeview. Lakeville? Lakeview. Is it Lakeview or Lakeville? I'm not sure. Now let me continue with what I was saying. I had these two old tires, okay guys? And uh, I put them on Kijiji. Do you guys know what Kijiji is? It's like a place where you... It's kind of like... Um, I don't know. There's different places you can sell uh, stuff. It's like, uh, what's that one that they use in the U.S.? Uh, uh, I, 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 it's a website where you advertise used things. It's like Auto Trader. You can sell anything on, on Kijiji, okay? It's just a, so I put them on there for like uh, 20 bucks. Right? I put the, the specs of the tires and stuff, some pictures, 20 bucks. Nobody, nobody was interested. No, I, after about a week, week and a half, not one email reply, nothing. People just looked at it. They said, oh, a guy's trying to sell uh, tires for 20 bucks. They're trash. I'm not interested. And I talked to one of my friends and I said, yeah, I'm trying to get rid of these tires. I mean, they're actually pretty good. They still have some tread. They're racing tires. Someone that might want to take their, uh, their car out on the track. Could use these for a couple of days, you know, burn through them and um, I, I should be able to get something for them. And he goes, well, how much are you asking for them? And I said, well, I uh, just got them on there for 20 bucks. And he said, nobody's going to buy them for 20 bucks. For 20 bucks, they're going to assume they're garbage. You got to sell them for like 300 bucks. And I said, what? What are you talking about? He goes, well, those tires new are like uh, 350, 375 bucks each. So you got to ask, for, you know, like 300, 275, 300. I said, that's ridiculous. I wouldn't uh, uh, buy these tires, used tires for 275 bucks. And he said, yeah, exactly. You wouldn't buy them because you're not a moron, but someone will. <laughs> so I, I put them back. I removed the ad. I waited a couple of weeks and then I put them back on and I put them back. I didn't go up to 300. I put them back on for $225 each. Right? I put them on for $225 each. And within that, the day that I put them on, I had like four or five people uh, inquire and email and, you know, uh, do you still have them? Uh, what's the size? Can you take a closer, uh, close up picture of the tread? How much miles did you, you know, asking questions until like the very day, some guy that asked two or three questions says, I'm going to, I'll come up there and I'll take them. And he, he showed up, uh, drove to my place to to get the tires in an old beat up you know like a, a $300 uh, truck and uh, the guy comes out there and he's looking at them and he's, I don't know what he was going to use them for maybe he's got some car he takes out on the track and he says yeah I'll take them and he had like a wad of cash in fives and tens and twenties and <laughs> and they sold <laughs> And that's a true story. That's a true story. And I, I felt bad. I felt bad uh, selling them to him. But you know, my friend said, no, 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 that's, that's, that's what you got to do. If, if you, um, just because you don't want them uh, doesn't mean someone else won't want them. And just because you think their value is worthless, to, to you they're worthless, uh, you can't assume that uh, another purchaser will think it's worthless, right? So uh, type 59 gold, you know, uh, is, there are a group of people that say, well, I've got a type 59. What the hell difference is it if it's gold? It's no different. Uh, I'm not paying extra for that. You know, maybe, you know, if it was like a $5 difference or something, right? If they... If there was a $5 difference, they, pro they probably wouldn't have uh, sold any. <laughs> but they're smart, and I don't know how they figured it out, but they said, well, if we charge 50 times more, and that's what they did with that uh, tier 10, uh, what is it called, Object 777? Uh, the one that you can use the resource, 100 and 
50 million credits or 65,000 gold, you could do the combination, right? It, it, when they launched that, that concept, uh, if they would have made that tank's price uh, just reasonable, like a, like a regular tier 10, right? Like 6 million credits for a regular tier 10, not 100 million credits. You could have bought that tank for 100 million credits. Oh, but Klaus, you have to research a tier 1 and 2, 3, all the way up to 10, so I have, I can't have a cookie. A tier 10 tank costs 6 million credits, right? You can use blueprints to, to go from 1 to, to 9. And, and the, the way the game is now, you can get a tier 10 like that for almost, you know, not even that much effort. <clears throat> if, they had, if they would have charged $6 million for that tank and not had, you could get your name on the barrel, I don't know. Uh, maybe they would have sold as many. Uh, maybe people would have went, ah, it's probably trash. <laughs> Who knows? It doesn't matter. The point is, they, they made the price 100 times higher and demand was through the roof. They sold out in minutes. And that's... Uh, that's a, just a weird... To me, that's weird, but that's the way... Um, uh, that's how humans are, right? Like, uh, everyone wants one. It's... Oh, what? It's 100 million credits. I want one. Anyways, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Would you buy a... Uh, type 59 gold? Some of you say, yeah, I wanted it in my collection, I want it in my garage, well, it's really cool, it's worth it. I would have paid $100 for it, or $200 for it. And some of you will say, no, come on, are you nuts? I wouldn't spend uh, on a skin. It's, it's weird, everyone's different. And it's all, uh, I learned from selling tires that a lot of it is the marketing. It's... You know, if, if you underprice your stuff, is just as bad as overpricing your stuff. And uh, we're working for a company to try and figure out what to sell things for must be, a, a, it's an art, guys. It's an art. It's not just, you know, just because it costs less, not everyone will buy it. Right? Only the thrift shoppers will, will uh, buy it. Like, you, you could sell a can of peas uh, at uh, the super discount store for 99 cents. And then at the expensive specialty store for seven dollars, same can of peas. And there's a group of people that'll say, oh, I, you know, I'm gonna shop at the thrift store. I can't, I'm not paying seven dollars for a can of peas. I'm gonna go to the that place, get them for 99 cents. Of course, with inflation now, you can't get them for 99 cents either. They're, they're gonna cost 226. But there's also a group of people uh, that will say, oh, I'm not going to that thrift store. That stuff's garbage. I would be caught dead in there. I'm, I'm gonna get the proper stuff. I'm gonna get this, uh, they cost $7, but they're really good. And they're the same, right? It's, there's a, a full spectrum of people. Probably if they sold the same canopies for $100 at a kiosk, right? Home delivered in a, uh, we will home deliver the peas for you in our Maserati uh, for $142. There, there will be some people you know, that will be on the phone. Hello, James. James, could you, uh, could you have the Maserati deliver two cans of those delicious peas? Yes, we're having guests. And, uh, there will be some people that, that spend like 600 bucks on two cans. Because everyone's different, right? That's the way the world works, guys. That's the way the world works. Okay, what are we doing? I, I, I'm sorry, I did it again. Yesterday we were talking about the cosmos and uh, the fact that everything that we know is wrong. <laughs> and today we're talking about peas. I don't know. My brain, I guess my brain is, um, my brain is, uh, I'm going through a, a brain reset. Uh, you know, I'm, snap! Oh, did he? Hit him? This guy's up to 5,500 damage, guys. Oh, he got hit by the TVP. He's got to get behind the rock. Get behind the rock. Get behind the rock. Uh, Auto-aim and uh, Snapperoni. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. He is um, He's not by himself. This is a good game. Klaus, stop talking about peas and concentrate on the game for crying out loud. See, now this is a Type 59 top tier versus 7 and 6s. And are there very good, there's not very good tier 8s or 7s even 
on that enemy team. Well, there's an E25. This is kind of like the way the Type 59 behaved in the past. Oh, I got my little doggy here, Marty. I think Marty needs to go out for a poop. Hey, Marty. Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, 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 this chair's too high. Whoa. There's Marty. He needs to go out for his little walk. Right when we finish this game. Okay, buddy, go down there. All right, guys. I'm not at home. I'm still in the holiday place. Boom. Oh, beautiful. So we're... Where's the dick? Where's Max? Oh. Shoot. Shoot. <laughs> he got him. Oh. Oh, he took a hit, but... Okay, good. He took a hit. He's a, is he a one shot? Yes, he is. He's a one shot now. Go, man. Go. This guy's fighting like a boss. 6,000 damage. This is what you came here for. Just for <clears throat> World of Tanks. No tuck. World of Tanks viewers care not for peas. What's that reference from? Or is it beans? <laughs> the Simpsons. Homer. Homer please cares not for beans. I know my brain just launched. I could do a whole discussion now on the Simpsons. It just popped into my head when I said that. When Homer's wearing a toga, him and Marge are going to have a sexy night. And something like she wants to have a snack or something and she pulls out some beans. And he's ready to get it on. And he goes, Homer please cares not for beans. <laughs> that's funny <laughs> to me that's funny okay that's how my brain works i think that's funny if you don't think that's funny you lead a dreary life <laughs> and now if you drive across here in the open buddy you're gonna get sniped and you're gonna lose this game so you have to rethink your strategy i think one strategy he doesn't have a lot of time though when look at the minimap he could go down here to the low ground and approach like this or he could go back to base because they are at the base now does he take the shortcut and risk someone being on the lake road like here that's going to snipe him oh they're both in the base oh the enemy's coordinated they actually coordinate he's not gonna make it guys He's going as fast as he can. He's going to almost 58. Oh, come on, buddy. 18 seconds. Guys, he... No, don't go that way. Oh. Is he going to make it, guys? Yes. You, you had a shot. Why didn't you stop? Oh, you had a shot. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes! He did it, guys. He, he reset. And he reset again. He reset and then the guy left cap. No, he reset and then the other guy left cap. Why would he do that? Well, who cares? He reset one guy and then the other guy, like a Muppet, left cap. Now, let's see. Does he have better concealment and view range than these guys? Did he get detected before he... Oh, stop! You're not detected. Don't worry about it. Yes! Woo-ha! That's what I'm talking about! Okay. It's him versus the challenger. Now, the challenger is on three kills. Where's the challenger? The challenger is probably hiding at this corner right here. Oh, boy. What is his HP? His HP is your HP plus 162. So your HP is 116. 116 plus 162 is 278. His HP is 278. You see how I did that? Okay, he's moving in. Uh, you, a draw is like kissing your sister, but this challenger knows what he's doing. He's set up an ambush here. He's, he's got to try, right? Hug the edge of the map. Hug the edge of the map. You got to try, buddy, because he's going to get away now. 
A draw is like kissing your sister. You can't exit this with a draw. You gotta try. He was in the cap a second ago. He's not over there. He was in the cap just recently. Uh, well, that's smart. He's poking. He's not detected. I think he waited too long. He could also be, look at the minimap, he could be here, guys. At least he didn't kiss his sister. Okay, guys. I'm sorry to say a loss, but he aced it and he got 6,684 damage. A heartbreak. He played fantastic and he made credits. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave some comments in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Please subscribe to the channel. Help the channel grow. And I will catch you on the next one.